So I made it back to my grand's house, right? And we just got off. I recognise the market that I used to go to when I was 13. Um, I literally tried to film my grand's reaction. But she went that shot to see a foreigner, sorry, excuse me. So we're going for dinner now. Sorry if it's a bit dark. I don't want to put a torch on anything because obviously they're not used to filming as well. and then my uncle is riding the bike there i don't even can see look right there he's got like such a cool bike and top roof on top but i'm not gonna feel that my cousin's coming in hey so we're staying at my grand's house and um been such a busy day since we got here um as soon as we got driven to my grand's house we um freshened up went out to eat by like some riverside thing which was really nice and i couldn't take any videos because I was just like getting, trying to speak to all my uncles and aunties because I ain't seen them for like eight years. So I was just talking. I thought, oh, it's no point filming because we was all talking. And then we came back um, home, had a wash and all that. And then we were just sitting there and my gran, she can talk. She was telling me so many stories, which was so cool because that's exactly what I wanted to hear is the stories because my grandma's like old now. She's 90. So want to hear as much as I can and it's most probably my last time coming here for a while because um, I like to explore other countries and if it wasn't for my grand that's still here most probably wouldn't come here so soon so um, yeah it's nice to see my grand again after so many years she still recognizes me she's got such a good memory for an old lady honestly and her stories are amazing she remembers the smallest things which makes me laugh but um, I'll show you how like it all goes tomorrow what we get up to we might go into the city I'm not too sure and but it's gonna be a busy day I'm just gonna be chilling with the family and things like that so nothing like too exciting like tourist stuff like that but I'm gonna go off to bed now mirrors in the other room so we're just all sleeping or if I can't sleep then I might watch a bit of football because it's the Euros but yeah so See you guys tomorrow. Good morning. So we just had breakfast and I'm just walking out to my grand's balcony because um, yesterday we had washed our clothes and we had to hang out ourselves, which I thought I really wanted to show you guys because it was so cool. Okay. This is our process. So we process. hung them yesterday. Mira can't do it because he's too shaky, so but you can take it down. <laughs> and then I'll just hold on to it. Imagine doing this, we had to do this for each every single hanger, each every single clothing. <laughs> Hang it up. That will not work in the UK. We are so impatient. So we're still chilling. Might get my hair dyed later from my uncle. Mm -hmm. I just finished lunch though. So I might have a bit of chicken stuck in my teeth. I haven't lost my teeth yet. My toothpicks. But I just want your guys' opinion, yeah? I've had this quite a few. And myself personally, from afar, I think Mira looks like Beckham, yeah? I don't want to gas him up, but... He has a slight hint of Beckham because of his beard. Mm. Even my uncle said that he does. What do you guys think? Does he? Uh, From afar? Uh, Mira is a fan of the fan. Fan of the fan. <laughs> <laughs> fan of the Chinese fan. This is my ugly hair now. We're in one of my uncle's salon. Going to wash it. Mira's just chilling. All of my uncles and aunts used to have hair salons here. But now, gonna dye it. So obviously it's my first time get my hair. Oh, so obviously it's my first time get my hair dyed. And I don't you know, it gets a bit hot up in here. And the weather right now is 30 degrees, so I'm just burning like an egg right now, boiling up in water. I'm telling ya. I look like an elf right now with these um, earplugs. I don't know if you can see. But, yeah, so this uncle here is doing my hair. So, I've got to film after I've got my hair did. I'm a bit blonde now. I want to go a bit blonde, but it's alright. I need to use a, a purple shampoo to get that kind of the redness out to go a bit more blonde. But I've got to use a torch, so it's blinding me. I'm so sweaty right now. Um, so I fell asleep waiting for the football to turn on on this um, wooden chair. So 
so we bought a hotel in Guangzhou, right? And the area around it is literally like rural countryside, like my, my grand's area. So we're a bit nervous because it's supposed to be like infinity pools and everything. But we might get a fake version with this. Because look, it's hot. It's still a bit shocked, we're not sure if it's the right one, but if it wasn't for Mira, I wouldn't have bought this hotel with an infinity pool, but we'll see how it goes, we're here now. It's good to experience things and get shocked by stuff. It looks alright actually. Yes, it was good, it was so good, so worth it. If you come to Guangzhou, you've got to come to Bayan Lakeside Hotel, right? Because it's £30 each, British pounds, um, for me and him, so £60 for the whole night, which is not a lot compared to like... Um, the other China hotel prices and things like that for five stars and you we are on the top floor We have a mountain view and hopefully our room is good, but I'll show you our tour of our room. We're in room 1422 and I'm so excited Because uh, this is this is my first time like booking a whole trip holiday trip and everything So hopefully it's all good and things like that But yeah, I'm excited to show you guys our day at the hotel is pretty much our day of relaxing <coughs> fake resort hotel resort for us so yeah okay Ooh. okay well that is mirror oh, oh I got look, another thing. there's a little angry bird all right no, bugsy this side <laughs> no i always ah uh, cuz i never get to choose what side of bed this time i get to choose okay I was expecting a, a bathtub to be fair. What in the fucking living room? Um, in our room. Oh. Ooh. This mountain view Ooh. is very mountainy. It's very mountainy. Oh, I'm struggling to open the door out of oh, our little balcony. Okay. This is our mountain view. <laughs> I think they meant tree view, jungle view, but it's still nice. Because it's cheap as well, and there's a lovely view outside and air con. by a pool. Uh, he's like, and there's aircon, there's always aircon. Um, oh, okay. Safe wardrobe. Don't know what these things are here. Not for present. <laughs> hair dryer, I know that's hair dryer. So, um, nice long mirror. I don't. Let me find some lights because it's so dark. Bathroom. Ah, oh, okay. I'm not gonna lie. I wanted a bathtub in a five star hotel. What is it? It's just a shower. Oh, babe. But do you know what? We came here for the infinity pool. So it don't matter. Uh, so, yeah, I'm gonna be here for a day. And there's loads of entertainments here, so we most probably do some of that. And I can't swim because look, I've turned a bit fake blonde. My my, my uncle, so I showed him a picture, right? I tell ya, showed him a picture. He can't sit for five seconds, and then um, yeah, turned out looking like a Korean chick. It's all right, I don't mind. So yeah, we'll we'll take you along with us so to see kind of the hotel. Maybe don't get Mountain View, get Lake View, yeah. Even though it's cheaper, get Lake View, not Mountain View. Unless you want jungles and trees, because this is Mountain View. We paid the top notch and we got, we got trees outside. And they're not even banana trees. Okay, I love banana trees. We just dropped our bags and just walking around there. It's, uh, with our hotel on the outside. And look, got the pool. There's mirrors walking around over there. There's the lake. Obviously, there's a lake. It's called the Lakeside Hotel. And there's a theme park actually, fake Disney I call it, um, down the road. Don't think it will go though, bit dodgy. <laughs> no, because we're going to Disneyland anyway in Shanghai, so there's no point going to another theme park. And I'm a chicken, I don't really like rides. I literally just woke up from a nap because the pool opens at three. And Miro got me hyped up for no reason. <laughs> he read to me at my grand's, they got pool table, they got ping pong, they got tennis courts and everything. There's just a pool. <laughs> Which I'm not complaining because that's all 
I thought there was anyways. And this guy, I don't know where he found all these fake stuff. <laughs> you know, it must be in his dream. But yeah, just looking at the menu, yeah? And we're getting room service. And um, the, the price is, you know, average to be fair, you know, for a hotel service, cheaper than usual. But I'm going to order a club sandwich, chicken, bacon, tomatoes and fired egg. <laughs> We go to the swimming pool, right? And we're in our hotel robes. And I've never done this walking to a pool in our robes. I usually put like just clothes on top of my bikini and walk down. No, oh, man. But this guy's making us go down in robes. This is my first time going down in a robe. Um, we're in a hat to go incognito just in case. <laughs> we're walking past restaurants in our robes to get access to the swimming pool. And it's so awkward. I don't know who's looking at us. I'm scared to look. I'm just focusing, focusing on you, the camera. <laughs> just to make an ex not just an excuse, but yeah, it's an excuse to make me feel more at ease. I'm so glad I got this hat on. <laughs> we made it now to the outside. They're looking for a sun lounge. We might sit over here. Um, yeah, it's cool, man, because no one is here. I think because like the signs that they have here it looks like it's closed, but it's not. No, it's not but no one's here. Mira's gonna go for a swim. I'm avoiding the water because my hair. But no, I'm, I'm still gonna go in, dip my feet in, and tie my hair up, and wear um, a um, a shower cap so that my blondes don't go flipping green. We're at the dinner at the um, hotel now because there's not a lot of places around here. It's literally countryside. Um, and yeah, I was just ordering for Mira, right? Um, trying to order chicken and fries and chips but obviously I speak a bit of Chinglish so what I was saying is fry, um, can I get some fried chicken and potatoes she's like potatoes and then she's like and then we had to show a picture she's like oh okay I know what you mean what you wanted see you too that's what it was which means fries in Cantonese and then I ordered a linguine um, with a mushroom cream sauce I think it was and then, yeah we've got two drinks and then we'll get a dessert a bit later on and most probably hop out to the pool take a few more pictures of the nighttime pool. We love a bit of selfies we do. <laughs> Some pictures. So my my funky drink came and they always they always give my drink to Miro because I think he like the ones that he wants are like girl drinks. So <laughs> they <laughs> plan it to give it to me and then my ones are like stronger or something in alcohol content so they give it to him. So this drink is actually quite nice. It's got a green cherry that mirrors. Ooh, green juice is coming out of it. Mirrors <laughs> down me to try some of this. Might as well. I think they just like artificial coloured this. I tell ya. <laughs> it might as well be a chili. <laughs> yeah, I'm done with that, love. I'm done with that. It's all over. I want to catch this cool drink. It's got some sort of ice cream, cream in it. It's it ice cream. cream. Oh, it's coffee. Oh, it's coffee. So it's like a Bailey's. No, no, just coffee. Oh. Well, <laughs> glad I got my drink then. <laughs> so first we had a club sandwich with fired eggs. <laughs> and then now we ordered a dragon boat fruit um, with ice cream for dessert. And we just got a fruit salad with ice cream on top. <laughs> Not a single piece of dragon fruit. It's so funny. I feel like this trip, everything is just. It's not. It's not even the translation that's going wrong. Sometimes I think they just. If they run out of something, they just give you an alternative that just looks similar to the picture that you see. So I think that's what you get often in China. So when you go to China, I hope you're not a fussy eater because a lot of things will come wrong. And there's no point always asking them to change it because it just delays things and you just waste your day. So we're not too fast to be fair because food is food as long as we're full, that's all that matters. But yeah. <laughs> dragon fruit I was really excited to eat that because I love dragon fruit. And it turned into um yeah, fruit salad from a can. We're going on a swim, we're going on a midnight swim, and I got my shower cap on because I can't get it wet <laughs> because it's gonna ruin my hair. We're gonna go to midnight swimming in case you didn't understand my song. <laughs> and uh, yeah. To be fair, that's how I thought it was this He said he can't deal with me. But um, I've got my hotel slippers on as well. Walk into the pool. Where are you going, 
The struggle of air con and heat having to stop my nose running before I get I'm getting a cold. And my eyes are all itchy because I'm staying awake to watch the football again. Oh, oh. Mira's going to sleep now. So I'm going back to my grands tomorrow. No. So, yeah. Night guys. See you tomorrow. Morning everyone. We just had breakfast and the Chinese translations in English never fails to humour me. There was like boiled vegetables, it was like called when to soup vegetables. Um, no fired eggs today. We had a, instead of glutinous rice um, thing, it was glutinous rice. Um, there was something like yogurt cantaloupe instead of cantaloupe and things like that. So that was funny. And then we got, my uncle's gonna pick us up soon. We're gonna go um, to one of um, these cities, like central places. It's called Sunwan Chinese. I'm not too sure like uh, what to compare it to. I haven't been in a long time. So it's like a small, I guess like a smaller version of like Oxford Street or something. So go in there, go for a bit of a look, walk, walk about and find some goodies. One, two, three. Uh -huh. I'm literally just filming this moment because Mira wants to be seen that like, you can smoke inside the place. Oh, always fun. So this was the street we just walked on. Um, in Chinese it's called Sanwa. And um, yeah, I didn't film outside because everyone was like taking steep peeks at me. I was like, no, I'm not filming with this, I'm not filming with this. Because he's literally the only foreigner on this street. <laughs> but yeah, this is... Um, one of the, it's kind of, yeah, like I said, the small version of Oxford Street down here. So we're here buying a suitcase and um, amazing service because um, they clean, they clean it for you and they test it out and everything. Mm. My uncle's cutting the durian. He does a nice durian. The wife has to help. Mm. 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 I knew he wouldn't know how to do it. So durian's that smelly fruit. That's like, excuse me, let me swallow the food. Mm. It's like mama, it's in very quiet taste. You either love it or hate it. After a stressful five minutes, we managed to get this prickly uh, durian to get open. Guys, who wants to see my beautiful legs? I've got to show you anyways, even if you don't. Look, I get bitten so much by these stupid mosquitoes here. Leave me over here. It doesn't get one bite at all. And then, um, so we went to a supermarket and to um, somewhere to buy stuff, yeah? <laughs> Look at how many pairs of chopsticks Miro bought. This is all his chopsticks. <laughs> and then we both bought a, a teapot set. Amazing! Um, which was amazing because we can't get that in the UK for like cheap, so we bought one here. So yeah, bought loads of chopsticks and teapots. I thought I'd show you our Chinese hole because this is, I'd say, our most successful trip for souvenirs. It's all here. Oh, we bought fans as well, didn't we, in Beijing? I don't think I've shown you those. I might show you guys later what the fans look like. So we bought fans from Beijing, chopsticks and teapots here. And then um, in Hong Kong, I bought loads of um, makeup goods. And um, Shanghai, we just, no idea. We'll see what we see and what it brings. And then we'll just buy it there. 
got my fans out to show you guys. So these are the type of fans that I've got. Just two, not a lot, because I thought they were cute. So I just bought and we bought this new little suitcase for like ten quid to for hand luggage because we had so much. Look at how many tea boxes we have, so we had to buy something for that. I'm so tempted to take these plastic bags back with us to the UK. Do you know why? They cost 5p a bag, you know? They don't come cheap anymore. These bags are like gold. But Maria laughed at me and said, no melt, no melt. But I'm really joking, I won't bring them back. Bad, bad, bad We're copying my grandma, fanning ourselves. <laughs> They're quite useful now. Yeah, I love these things. Those 20p ones that my grand uses are the best though. So much wind. These ones, not so much. Oh shit, I'm, I'm breaking it. Oh gosh. My grand is so cute. She put on the football just for me over her show. Bless her. She knows I like watching football. Well, we're going for a massage now. It's well bright, I tell you. I'm going to get tickets now. I'm taking mirrors to get massages and things like that. So I'm filming all the way down here so I don't look too weird. Because people are still weird. not You're used to, to your phone vlogging. <laughs> This place is so colourful. Yeah, we're in the massage parlour. Me and my aunts and Miro. We got back home now and everyone's sleeping. Uncle, she's having a shower. Because then um, obviously we just came back from the massage parlour. I'm sure my masseuse really liked Miro because she was abusing me, thinking I'm his girlfriend or something. Which I found quite funny, but we've got to get off to bed and we're going to go to the city tomorrow. So I'll update you guys tomorrow. Bye. So you've got to clean the chopsticks here. I see them words out there. Let me fall. Don't do them all. Say, say. She seems like they're not black. Even though they look wrapped, you can still get clean on them. And all done. A lot of things are wrapped here as well. But it doesn't mean it's clean. We still have everything with tea, everything apart to clean it. You've got grapes, you've got peaches, and it's your definitely mango. You've got the almonds over there. Mm. And then you've got yeah. durians yeah. in here. Yeah. And then pure. Yeah, just loads of fruits at the market. They can understand so well. Those bananas are fat. They're fat bananas. So we're nearly there at the city centre and there's a lot, of, a lot more multicultural people here which is fun so Miro don't feel like a celebrity anymore <laughs> So we made it to Grand Charles City which I call the Oxford Street of London uh, so we'll see how this whole thing pans out and just waiting for our driver to park up and come shop with us. Some part of this is like old street. This is a bit about Granjal and the city. This whole booth here is just for scratch cards and then um, we're on the streets now just looking for more clothes and souvenirs and gifts. So this is the Oxford Street of my job. I'm making Miro walk all by himself to see if people look at him. We've got some really cute food. Same thing to where we're for. And that's like a hundred century egg in there. Oh, I got you one. We're getting these curly um, potato fries. Oh no, we get one sweet corn. Okay. We get one fried sweet corn. Oh. Okay, to try it and one potato. 
I wasn't expecting that. I thought it was just different flavours, but okay, we'll try it, innit? Mm. Fine, sweet corn. Try five more stuff. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's hot. My uncle's telling me not to eat yet, it's too hot. We just got back from the city and then, uh, yeah, I've got a tan. My grand said I look dirty. <laughs> so I've not been vlogging much of kind of Guangzhou. We've just been kind of chilling with my gran. Look how intense she is watching. Um, <laughs> we're watching Madagascar. Her narrations are hilarious. She keeps saying, oh, these animals can talk. Oh, that's a big cow. These zebras are cute and things like that. Uh, yeah. And then we're just eating lychees. We've got a bag of lychees. Which in Chinese we say, um, even one lychee is samba for, which means um, three breaths of fire as a direct translation. But it basically means if you eat one, the unhealthiness triples by three but obviously different people don't really get affected but a lot of asian that's what they believe in and things like that because like sore throats and things like that if you eat too much so yeah anyway still gonna finish a whole bag of it because <laughs> it's so nice and sweet my gran is so active she's got nothing to do she doesn't want to go nap so she's brought some vegetables with her on a trolley to pick oh here we go Take the time and she'll sit down and she'll do whatever she needs to do with the vegetables. She's so active for someone that needs to use her walking thing. I literally just tried to um, bring the vegetables closer to her and she thinks I wanted to help her. I don't know what to do. She's like, no, I'm doing it. Nah, I don't know. Huh? Nah, but it's she's, choy, uh. she's teaching me. Nah, this is choy. So you don't need the stems, just taking the leaves out. Mm. Huh? She keeps saying I used I look like her when I when she was young. I'm not too sure how I'd want to look like my grandma when I'm 90 years old. But I want to be as active as her though. That's what I want to be. Guys, do you like my hairstyle? I just came out of the wash. It's I lost. Came out of the wash. I got fresh. <laughs> you said I'm afraid. No, I just came out from a, from a shower. A, a wash, wash, shower is the same thing, no? Okay. Came out the no. I just finished having a wash, and this is the last night we're at my grand's house sleeping, and I'm st I've been sleeping with my aunt, but my cousins come back, so I'm sleeping with this little thing again tonight, top and towels, and then I just want to say. I don't know if, um, what's wrong with the Chinese, I'll tell ya. Back in the day, in the old movies, the pillows were wooden, the beds were wooden, and it's still the same today. Like, let me just, I'm not even gonna jump on this bed because it's flipping wood. <laughs> but it's so hard. Like, we used to like, <coughs> spring cotton, like memory foamed beds. And we come to China, I'll tell you. It's so hard, look, look, I'm pushing hard, yeah. Like proper, it doesn't move, I tell ya. It doesn't move. Um, but I must say, Mira, you'd agree, right? Mm. Our posture oh. from these beds. Did you hear that? That was from the bed. 
our posture has improved we have photo evidence 100% we have photo evidence <laughs> you might see it on our instas you might not <laughs> we'll let you know they're so funny but yeah even in the hotel we stayed at which was five stars their beds were hard as well so it must be just an old chinese thing that they still do like they like hard beds but i'm so missing my home bed in the uk where it's just soft and just soft i guess <laughs> but yeah so tomorrow we're gonna go to shanghai very excited because of disneyland and then um, got an early morning tomorrow gonna have breakfast head out and I'm gonna do another vlog for Shanghai, so I'll see you guys there. Might as well, eh? Make a farewell video on these wooden chairs. No more wooden chairs or hard beds. They are so hot. Going to uh, Shanghai, which is a bit cooler. Temperatures there are supposed to be like 29 degrees, which here is like 35. So um, a lot cooler for us, which we're happy about. We're missing the UK breeze and all that. But I'm gonna get go to the airport soon. I we'll just say and do a little video of the old house one last time because it might be another eight years till I come back again. So we'll see about that. It's go time, and we are just waiting for our um, driver. And this cute little chair, I'm gonna miss this chair every time we walk back home. Here's that chair. All that suitcases, four suitcases. We came with two, we're leaving with four. 